Hi viewers, welcome to Ganesh YouTube channel. In this tutorial, I am going to explain you how to create column with stiffness connection in Tecla old version. Just like this. Okay, let's start. To open Tecla structures, double click on this icon on your desktop. Environment, you need to select US Imperial, role, still detailing, and configuration, still detailing. Then click on OK. Click on new model. Uh, let's take model name, new model 14, and model template still detailing, and model type single user, then click on OK. Select this 3D view, and click on this arrow to open 3D view in background. Then close this window, and click on here, and drag it. Then click on here to maximize this window like this. Okay, now we're going to create columns. So click on this icon, create column, and pick the first position at here, and pick the second position at here to create columns like this. Right click almost interrupt. Now I'm going to create beam, so select this beam and pick the first point here and pick the second point to create beam like this, right click mouse interrupt. If you want to change the beam profile then double click on this beam and by default we have W16 by 40. If you want to change then click on here select and let's take W14 by 53 then click on apply ok then click on modify to see the result. You can see now we have W14 by 53 then click on apply ok. Click on space, right click on mouse, zero view. Now we're going to create connection between column to beam. So go to the application components by using the shortcut control F. You'll get this window. And in search bar, you need to type 186 and click on search. Then you'll get this component column with stiffness 186. Okay, if you want to see in thumbnail, then click on this option. You'll get like this. Now click on this component and pick the main part as a column and pick the secondary part as a beam to create the connection between column to beam. Okay, like this. Now close this window, right click mouse interrupt, click on space, right click mouse read view. Now use the shortcut control R and pick the rotation point. You can rotate like this. You can see by default we have connection like this. Okay, now we're going to edit this connection as we required. So right click mouse interrupt. Now double click on this connection. You will get this window. Now zoom out and zoom in here. You can see from this option you can control the gap between column to beam. For example, let's take here, select this connection and then let's take 3 by 4 inch, then click on modify. You can see now the space should be 3 by 4 inch. Okay, let's take off inch, then click on modify to see the result here. You can see now the gap should be off inch. Now go to plate step. In plates, you can control the plate thickness. For example, you can see, let's take the plate thickness of inch. Then click on modify to see the result here. You can see now this plate thickness should be of inch. Now go to bolt step. In bolt step, you can control the number of bolts and bolt size and spacing between the bolts from these options. Okay. For example, let's take the bolt size here, one inch, then click on modify to see the result. You can see now this bolt size should be one inch. Okay, let's take three by four inch. So click on here and select this three by four inch and then click on modify. You can see now this bolt size should be three by four inch. Now let's take tallest one by 16 and coming to here, click on space, right click on mouse view and use the shortcut control R and you can rotate like this. You can see from this option, you can control the plate position. For example, uh, from top, and let's take the spacing here 4 inch and then click on modify. You can see now this 4 inch indicates the space between top of this beam to first bolt distance. Okay, let's take 3 inch here. Let's take 3 inch, then click on modify. You'll get like this. Okay, for example, if you want to place this plate at the middle of this beam, then click on here and select middle and remove this dimension. Then click on modify to see the result. You can see now this plate should be at the middle of this beam. Now coming to this bolt spacing, you can control this bolt spacing from these options. For example, you can see now from edge of this beam to first bolt distance, you can control from here. For example, let's take 2 inch, then click on modify to see the result. You can see now this uh, edge of this beam to first bolt distance should be 2 inch. You can control the number of rows in vertical direction from this option. For example, if you want to create a number of rows in vertical direction 2, then enter here 2 and the spacing between the two bolts. For example, we are going to take here 3 inch, then click on modify to see the result. You can see now we have number of rows vertical direction 2 
and the spacing between these two bolts should be 3 inch from this option. Now coming to the edge distance you can control from here from bolt to edge of this plate. Let's take here 2 inch then click on modify to see the result. You can see now this, two, this spacing should be 2 inch. For example if you require only one, one row then enter here one and remove this dimension then click on modify you'll get like this. Now coming to horizontal distance you can control this uh, edge distance from edge of this plate to first bolt distance from here. Let's take 2 inch then click on modify. You can see now this distance should be 2 inch from bolt to edge of this plate. Now coming to the number of rows in horizontal direction. Currently we have 3. Let's take 2 now, and the spacing we are going to take here 4 inch then click on modify. You can see now we have number of rows 2 in horizontal direction and the spacing between these two bolts should be 4 inch from this option. Okay, let's take 3, 3 rows and the spacing 3 inch, then click on modify. You can see now we have the 3 number of rows and the spacing between these two bolts should be 3 inch. Now coming to the edge distance, we are going to take here 2 inch. Now click on modify to see the result. You can see you will get 2 inch edge distance. Now coming to the stiffeners. You can see now we have the stiffeners at the column. You can control the uh, stiffener thickness from stiffness tab so click on the stiffness tab and enter here thickness of the stiffness let's take 1 by 4 inch and select it use the shortcut ctrl c for copy and use the shortcut ctrl v for paste otherwise you can type here now click on modify to see the result here you can see now the stiffener thickness should be 1 by 4 inch now coming to this chamfer you can control this chamfer value at this location Let's take half inch chamfer in horizontal and vertical direction. Then click on modify to see the result. You can see now this chamfer value should be half inch in horizontal and vertical direction. If you don't require stiffeners, then click on here. Then click on here and select this option without stiffener. Then click on modify to see the result. Now we don't have any stiffeners in this component. If you require, then click on here and select this option with stiffener. Then click on modify to see the result. Now we have the stiffeners like this. Now then click on modify, apply, ok. Click on space, right click on mouse, return. If you want to create the same component at this location with the same values, you need to double click on this component. Now click on apply, ok. Now go to application components by using the shortcut control F and select this component and pick the main part as a column and pick the secondary part as a beam to create the connection between column to beam. And close this window, right click on mouse, interrupt, click on space, right click on mouse, return. You can see now you have this connection with the same values at this location. Okay, that's it about how to create column with stiffeners in Tecla old version. If you like this video, please like it and share it. If you have any doubts, please comment below. For more Tecla structure related videos, please go to my channel youtube.com slash sk. I will provide this link in the description below of this video. Please go through it and come here. Under videos, you can find out so many Tecla structure related videos. I hope this video is might be helpful to you and at the top right corner please click on subscribe button. If you subscribe you will get notification or updates when uploading a new video. So please click on subscribe. Okay. Thank you.